Of course, we've been using the latest version of One UI 4 extensively throughout the beta program down to the final release. And as stated previously, our overall experience with it has been great, but it still does leave us wanting more to be done, added, refined in the next minor iteration of One UI 4 still based on Android 12. Hi, Ben from Sam Mobile. If you enjoy new videos like this, then be sure to like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV. Here's our video on One UI 4.1, when we think it's coming and what we would like to see. Quick disclaimer before we go ahead that this video is not a leaks and rumors take on One UI 4.1, but more of a guesstimation of when we would think to expect to see the next iteration of One UI 4 and also following up our previous video on four things One UI 4 could do better. We did state in the previous video, which we highly recommend you watch, that we would follow up with a video of what we would like to see on One UI 4.1. This is also not a full breakdown and overview of features that are on Android 12 or One UI 4, as we have plenty of previous videos covering this in detail, which again, we highly recommend you go back and watch. Now that out of the way, let's get into it. Now we've touched on previously the addition of RAM Plus as a feature in device care, taking some of your internal storage, four gigabytes to be specific, on your Galaxy device and using it as virtual RAM to increase the overall system RAM of your device. Again, we stated to this, there is nothing wrong with this feature, but the end user needs to be given better management control over RAM Plus, like choosing how much internal storage can be dedicated to virtual RAM as a manual feature an automatic feature where it just dynamically manages it, very similar to what's happening right now. And also what's most important is the ability to just toggle it off altogether. This part shouldn't be that hard to implement. So let's hope we see it soon in One UI 4.1. This is a simple one and also a long requested one by many One UI users, even going back to the Samsung experience and touch with days of old. That is vertical app drawer scrolling. For the longest time to get into your app drawer with all your installed apps, you basically scroll up from the bottom anywhere on the home screen, but then your apps are arranged horizontally from left to right when it comes to navigation. If I speak for myself personally on this one, I've still not gotten that used to it as I find myself caught in the times where I'm going back and forth from the app drawer to the home screen, and back and forth in quick successions before realizing that, oh, okay, scrolling left and right is how the app drawer is rearranged and arranged to get into my apps. Now, honestly, I'm gonna put this up there and put our hands up that this one might be a dead end request because if they were to have added this, this should have actually been done in the final version of One UI 4, just like what you saw with the addition of the overstretch effects, or let's really be honest, should have been done years ago and way back, but we will be hopelessly optimistic and see if that changes when it comes to One UI 4.1. This particular feature here pains me for how good it is and yet how limited the support is on more third-party apps for video and still images. Yeah, video call effects, it's nothing new since yes, it was introduced with One UI 3.1, but with beta two of One UI 4, seeing how well it worked on popular apps like WhatsApp for video calls and even Instagram really made me appreciate the benefits of it way more than before. Now there's no real reason given by Samsung for removing the support for most third party apps when it came to the final release of One UI 4. This one here is simple. It just needs to come back, hopefully, in One UI 4.1. Last but not the least is the camera performance around video and specifically around Galaxy devices that support 4K 60 frames a second. Let's take the Galaxy S21 Ultra as an example. The versatility of the camera for both pictures and videos is just unmatched. And in some cases is probably some of the best you're gonna find on a smartphone period. Heck, when it comes to the video taking capabilities is still one of only few cameras on a smartphone that allow you to switch from the rear cameras to the selfie and back to the rear cameras all in real time while recording without the need of stopping and starting again. 
you even have the ability to pause recording and continue recording all on the same continuous clip. That level of convenience right there is unmatched. And the level of control and the experience that you have when recording is something that you just won't find on other flagship devices and it can easily be overlooked how clutch it is and it personally sets the Galaxy S21 Ultra apart from the rest. But when in 4K 60 frames a second recording, there is still some odd limitations in how you can switch between the rear lenses, like the optical zooms, the ultra wide, as well as the standard main camera. We don't see this being really a hardware limitation as you can still switch to the selfie and back to the rear camera while recording in 4K60 without stopping the recording, but you do still need to stop recording and start again if you want to switch to the other rear lenses at the back when in 4K60. It's a minor fix personally, but let's hope this gets ironed out and introduced on One UI 4.1. Now let's wrap this up. As we've given you a few things we would like to see in One UI 4.1, but the question is, when do we expect to see it? Now, personally, this is a wild guess, but if our guess and our instincts are correct and end up being true, then we might see this in the upcoming Galaxy S22 series next year in 2022. Now, as much as the things that we've listed on here that would like to see in One UI 4.1 are not necessarily limited by the current hardware available on Galaxy devices now, it's always safer to iron out the kinks with newer, more powerful and efficient hardware, which no doubt we will be expecting to see in the Galaxy S22 series. Now, let us know your thoughts and let us know what you would like to see in One UI 4.1. For the latest news in the world of Samsung Daily, be sure to visit us at sammobile.com. And for the latest videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and we will see you next time.